the gang go to a sleepover. The whole gang had been invited to a friend's house for tea and a sleepover. Everyone was getting very excited. Let's go, let's go, shouted Megabyte, who was always excited when it came to food. Calm down, said Brains. There's still some packing to do to make sure we have everything we need. But how will we remember everything, said Megabyte. Well, funny you should mention that, said Brains. Oh, you've made a checklist of all the things we might need to take on our sleepover, said Bones. What a very clever idea. Bones showed the list to the whole gang. One by one, they collected everything they needed and ticked them off the list. OK, now we're ready, said Brains. Let's go to our sleepover. The Amiga twins had also made a list of things to take. There was only one thing on it. Cake pops. If we're having a sleepover, then we're having a late night feast too, they said, and carefully packed the treats into the suitcase along with everything they needed. When the gang arrived at their friend's house, there was a wonderful smell coming from the kitchen. Pizza, said Megabyte, who was always hungry. Their friend's mummy had made them all a very special treat they could all eat. A tasty low-protein pizza with all their favourite toppings. It was delicious. The gang also got their protein substitutes out of the suitcase they had packed. I'm glad you made that checklist, Braids, said Bones. We mustn't forget to drink these too. After their meal, the gang and their friends all went upstairs. The curtains were closed and the room was starting to get dark. It's story time, said Bones. Everyone gathered around in a circle. The Omega twins switched on the torch and the room was filled with a spooky glow. Once upon a time, there was a big friendly ghost who lived in a jelly castle, said Bones. The story had begun. Later, when the ghost stories had finished, Bones whispered, I could hear ghostly footsteps. The door slowly opened. I hope you're all sleeping well, said the grown-up. came the sound from the room as everyone pretended to be fast asleep. As the door closed slowly, the room became dark again and there wasn't a sound to be heard, apart from a faint <coughs> mm, I love carrot sticks, said Megabyte quietly as he munched on his late night snack. Shh, said everyone. It was going to be a brilliant sleepover after all.